heat flow through rectangular fin. So, heat flow through rectangular fin. Uh, fin I have already discussed when I was discussing the theory. Okay, so fin are basically the extended surfaces. Okay, so fins are basically extended surfaces. So, you know that Q is directly proportional to the area. Okay, we all know that Q is directly proportional to the area. So, when Q is directly proportional to the area, and you also know that Q is directly proportional to the delta T. So, this delta T actually you cannot change because suppose if you have an engine, okay, which is, uh, you know, combusting at around 700 degrees Celsius. I'm just taking a crude example, okay, which is combusting at around 700 degrees Celsius and the ambient temperature and the ambient temperature, suppose if this is the internal temperature and the ambient temperature is suppose 40 degrees Celsius, okay, now you cannot change both of them. Okay, you cannot change the ambient temperature and you also cannot change the internal combustion temperature of an internal combustion engine. So, then what can you change? So, this you have no control on it. Then what can you change? You can actually change the area. Okay, now you cannot go on, uh, you know, increase the area and you go on increase the rate of heat transfer. Okay, so there has to be a control. So, you actually increase the area in again a very controlled manner because these are as, uh, as you can see in the diagram that that's a fin okay so fin is actually extending from the main surface so you cannot go on extending the surface because you have to fit that particular thing somewhere so if you are trying to fit that particular thing somewhere and it is too long too hefty long then definitely it won't be fitting somewhere okay so the design has to be like that so everything every minor thing has to be considered when you are designing for a larger amount of heat transfer using these extended surfaces. Okay, so it's a pretty simple here as I've already done in my uh, previous uh, theory uh, videos. So let's do it again. Okay, so it's a rectangular fin. The rectangular fin is just because we have a rectangular cross-sectional area. Okay, and it's a rectangular, uh, rectangular thing. Okay, uh, had it been a cylindrical fin, it would have been like this. Okay. So, that would have been a cylindrical fin, okay. So, but it is right now a rectangular fin, okay. So, what's happening here? See, this is an element, okay. I'm just repeating the derivation once again. So, just uh, try to, you know, uh, make it very clear. So, this is the base. Suppose if this is the engine, okay, combusting it around 700 degrees Celsius, just uh, what I have written here, okay. So, this is the engine and the base temperature is supposed TO. The origin temperature is TO. Okay, so this is the engine, uh, so this is the fin and the length of the fin is L, meters or whatever, okay, feet, meters, whatever is the dimension, okay. So, now we have taken an element and you all know when there is a heat transfer between solid to solid surfaces, then there is conduction, okay. So, the heat is now getting conducted from this surface to this surface, okay, but when there is a surface and an ambient, but when there is a surface and an ambient or a fluid that is surrounding the surface, you know what will go on. Actually, there will be convection, okay. So, you can see here, it's convection, okay. So, we have conduction and we have convection and this is the element that we have considered, okay. So, element is x distance away from the base, base means the, the body or the engine you can say, okay. And the elemental thickness is the dx and you all know as we have done the, uh, the heat conduction equation, okay. So, this is qx that is coming in to the element, okay. So, once it crosses the dx, so it will be qx plus dx, okay. Did you remember that the qx plus dx, uh, actually the qx was having an elemental heat that is getting added to it just because it had an internal heat generation. Uh, in that derivation, right. So, okay. And the remaining heat gets convected into the atmosphere or the fluid that is surrounding in it, uh, that is surrounding this particular object. Had it been gas, uh, then uh, the heat would have got convected into the gas. Gas means air, suppose. And had there been fluid, then there will be convection in the fluid. So, there will be convective cycle inside the fluid, okay. So, it is a perimeter, okay, cross sectional area, okay. Now, the temperature of the base is T naught, okay, and the temperature of the ambient is T A here. 
I have taken t infinity. That's my nomenclature. But uh, as per this book, they have uh, taken t a as the ambient temperature. Okay, the heat transfer, co the convective heat transfer coefficient is h here. Okay, and the thermal conductivity, the thermal conductivity is k here. Okay, and by this time. By this time, uh, you should be uh, really aware of what is thermal conductivity and what is uh, heat uh, convective heat transfer coefficient. Okay, you must be aware of the units. So it is watts per meter Kelvin of K that is thermal conductivity and watts per meter square Kelvin for H, and this is your convective heat transfer coefficient. Okay, so let's get into this. So these are the things. These are the parameter. This is a parameter. L is the length of the fin. Okay, L is the length of the fin. I have already marked it there. Okay, B is the width of the fin. Here, B is the width of the fin. Y is the thickness of the fin. Okay, I will be talking about the perimeter. The perimeter is basically what? It is twice into breadth plus the thickness of the fin. Okay, the perimeter is required because you know the heat is actually coming out of the perimetrical. Uh, surface okay so perimeter of the fin is this i have already to, uh, told you about this that is twice into breadth plus the thickness okay now the cross sectional area the cross sectional area is by it is breadth into the thickness this is the cross sectional area as you can already see this is y the thickness and this is the b okay and l is there okay so cross sectional area done T naught, I have already explained you at the base of the fin. T A is the ambient temperature of the fluid surrounding the fin. K is the thermal conductivity. Okay, thermal conductivity is a constant, as you all know. It's an intrinsic property of the material. So this is the intrinsic property of the material that is being used to make this fin. Okay, had it been brass, had it been metal, so the K will actually change as per the metal and the heat transfer coefficient. Heat transfer coefficient actually depends on temperature and k also depends on temperature okay so let's go to the next page okay so in order to determine in order to determine the governing differential equation for the fin okay uh, which uh, we have just seen in the figure consider consider that the heat flow to and from an element dx thick at a distance x from the base okay so this was the thing see this dx is the elemental thickness i've already uh, i've already told you and this is the distance from the base x okay so so heat conducted into the element at plane x and this you all know which equation is this come on this is fourier's law of conduction okay so fourier's law of conduction actually states that the heat transfer is directly proportion to the area uh, uh, it is directly proportional to the product of area, cross sectional area, and the negative of the temperature gradient. So, this is Fourier's law. This is Fourier's law of conduction. Okay. So, heat conducted out of the element as we have done in the derivation in the first unit. So, heat conducted out of the element is x plus dx. So, uh, plane out of x plus dx will be qx plus dx. It was Q and it is QX plus DX. So it will be nothing but here it will be X plus DX and nothing else. Okay. So heat conducted, convected out of the element now. As I have already told you, see, as I have already told you, so this is the perimeter actually. Okay. So this is the perimeter. So at the perimetrical surface, what is the heat that is convected out of the, of the element, uh, of the fin? So this is the this is the thing so heat that is coming out so area is basically p into dx right the area will be p into dx p the unit of p will be in meters p is basically perimeter so unit will be perimeter into the thickness that is again in meters so the area you know the unit is meter square so here it is meter square so this is area okay so q convection is heat transfer coefficient into the area into t minus t a okay t minus t a okay now this t is basically okay i will be discussing it later on okay this t because this t is not t o 
this t is t and what is this i will just uh, come to it later on okay now applying an energy balance on the element now what do you understand by energy balance energy balance mass balance means what is coming into the system will be on one side and what is going outside the system will be on the other side okay so you know what is coming into the system what is going out of the system so the qx suppose uh, and this is my subject element right so what is coming into this uh, into this element what is going out of the element is qx is that is coming into the element qx plus dx is coming out of the element okay and q convection is also coming out of the element here okay so energy balance so energy balance will be qx is equals to qx plus dx plus q convection here okay see okay there you go now what's next just you know apply uh, you replace these q's with the respective formula so this is newton's law okay and these two are the fourier's law so replace it by fourier's law and newton's law right so there you go we have just applied it okay now what's next okay what you need to do is actually now you need to make a taylor's expansion of the temperature gradient okay taylor's expansion actually taylor series you have already done in your engineering mathematics okay so uh, i won't be uh, going into the taylor's expansion but the thing is that this is actually required for the derivation so here it is like it is dt by dx x plus dx is dt by dx x dt by dx dt by dx x dx then there will be a second order derivative and two factorial one factorial plus two factorial plus three factorial and so on okay substituting this in equation substituting this in equation here sorry in equation this so you will have this okay and now neglecting the higher terms so if you neglect the higher terms it will be very simple right so if you neglect the higher term you are left with this okay now dividing both sides by the cross sectional area so you have this okay so it's just a normal thing so just divide this by k throughout so it will be here do you know do you remember what was this when i was uh, teaching you the other uh, fins what was this hp by ka can you just tell me or for that matter what what was root over hp by ka this was actually fin parameter represented by m and it's a very important thing okay okay so here it is okay this is the fin parameter so the equation this one the equation this now is getting simplified okay is further simplified by transforming the dependent variable by defining the temperature axis theta okay so what is theta theta is equals to t minus t a now what is this t this is not t naught this is temperature which is which is having something relation with the x x is the distance okay so if you suppose go to here suppose if you are taking an element here the temperature will be different if you are taking an element here the temperature will be different just because it is near it is quite uh, this element is quite far away from the uh, from the base so that's why it will be having lesser temperature and this is quite near to the base so it will have a more uh, it will have more temperature it will be much hotter than the one that is away okay so this temperature actually depends on x where is x here is x okay so this is the thing okay now equation 2.129 i have already discussed this so it will be theta so just put theta here so you will have a second order differential here so second order differential so it will be like t minus t a so t minus t a was here so t minus t a this will become theta and this will be because see t minus t a so t a is constant so it will be d square t by dx square minus 0 okay like this see so m you know is a fin parameter represent a general form of the energy equation for one dimensional heat dissipation from an extended surface okay the parameter m for a given fin is constant provided the convective film coefficient h is constant okay over the whole surface and the thermal conductivity k is constant within the temperature range considered 
then the general solution of this linear and homogeneous second order differential equation is of the form. Now you have found out the second order differential equation here and you have already uh, been taught uh, the second order differential equations general solution. The second order differential equations general solution is basically this. So it is C1 means the first constant into the product of exponential term okay the positive exponential term plus the second constant into um, is the product of second constant and the exponential term of the uh, means is the negative exponential term okay so here you can see it is minus mx and it is positive mx c1 and c2 are this okay now there are two cases as you all know so the first case is the fin is infinitely long when the length is not defined and the second case we will not be taking the third case so this one and this one these uh, two things are there in your syllabus so the first one when the length is not defined means we consider that the fin is infinitely long and the second one is when the fin tip is insulated